How you doing? So, ah, ran over my own foot. Mother. Anyway, if you missed my video earlier today, go check it out. Got a chance of winning something. I will just say, look, even though that is a giveaway for a phone, if you don't want the phone, if you're one of these... I don't know, strange people who like Android. We can sort something out. I'll get you something else. But what are we talking about today? Straight into the meat and potatoes of it all, and that is Mr. Jared Lysuk. Been waiting for this. Been keeping on it in the background. There's been a lot happening. And look, it would appear that some, not all, but some of the charges against him have indeed been scrapped. We're going to have a look at it together. Here we go. So check this out. Where are we? Right. So founder of Adventures with Purpose search and rescue team arrested for allegedly a nine-year-old girl. Now you really look at this and you think, oh my God. What's he done? You know, if you didn't know the background, if you didn't know the meat and potatoes of it, how would you read that? You know, we know there's a lot more to it, but, yeah, that don't read very well, do it? You wouldn't want them writing your CV. Anyway, so this is what it goes on to say. It says, Jared Lysak, the founder of popular YouTube volunteer search and rescue dive team, Adventures with Purpose, has been arrested for allegedly an underage girl more than three decades ago. Put that in the title. Put that in the title. Uh, according to court documents obtained by People. On January the 5th, Lysak, 47, was booked into San Petty County Jail on a single child charge. Jail record show. No bail information was immediately available. Yeah, so he was arrested and took back in on January the 5th. For those of you who don't know, yes, he was indeed arrested and took in. So, a criminal complaint filed by prosecutors in early November 2022 indicates Lysak was between 16 and 17 years old at the time. Uh, the alleged pair of against a girl who was 9 and then 10 in 1992. Utah does not have a statute of limitations for this crime. So then it goes. Though authorities initially charged Lysak with two counts, a probable cause affidavit released on January the 10th shows that one of the charges has been dropped and the date of an alleged encounter has also been changed. The second alleged which supposedly occurred at a grandparent's house, has also been removed from the updated documents. It is not immediately clear why. Lysak's current charge stems from an incident that reportedly happened in the alleged victim's bedroom in... I'm not even going to say that. Something beginning with E, ending in M, and is in Utah. Because you... Grammar police or crucify me, won't you? So I'm not even going to attempt it. Ephraim, Ephraim, <laughs> between January the 1st, 1992, and December 31st, 1992, when the defendant, and it goes into details. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'll likely get shot. So, eventual purpose leader. Diver Doug Bishop previously told people he was blindsided by the allegations against Lysak. These allegations are serious. What allegedly happened 30 years ago should not take away from the amazing work the team has done in this world over the past two years. Um, the courts will write the ending of this story. The parties involved will have their voices heard, Bishop said. Um, Adventure Purpose ro rose to YouTube fame 
um, or their rise to YouTube fame began in 2020 when the team unexpectedly and unintentionally began recovering human remains in vehicles trapped beneath Portland waters during environmental cleanup missions. As of January, its channel has nearly 3 million subscribers. Um, the team also made national headlines last summer when they recovered the vehicle and body of missing Northern California teen Kylie Rodney. It's unclear if Lysuk has entered a plea. His attorney, Randall Richards, did not immediately return people's request for comment. So, it's now a case of seeing where this goes. Now, like Doug Bishop said, it is going to be the courts that right the end of jared's story it would appear that adventures with purpose for the most part are still carrying on doing what they're doing um i've not seen much from doug and the team they bring out some videos here and there but um doug did reach out to me before christmas um i think there's plans for him to do something and that may become clearer in the future but they've got some legal hoops to jump through but look they're obviously tweaking these charges whether it's because jared's got a bit of money and he's managing to manipulate the system somewhat or whether the family members we did see early doors that there was other family members getting involved and it was almost like the the main victim here was being coerced into you know doing what was happening and you know it's it was uncomfortable to watch but it would have seemed normal service has resumed and the person who is the real victim is the one who's in charge now and everything seems to be sort of going right if that makes sense you know there's no kind of money grabbers involved and having their tuppence worth looked into from what i can see and that's no no disrespect to money grabbers it's just that those of you who have watched this from the beginning will know exactly what i'm talking about and who i'm talking about not you know the, the grifter but look, the cousin is indeed entitled to justice, and it would appear that she's likely to get it. Um, how that will come, what that will look like, only time will tell. But let me know down below. Why do you think that some of the charges have indeed been dropped, and do you think that that could potentially have an impact on the overall outcome of the case? Is this now a little bit muddy, and will it help Jared try to slime his way out of things who knows let me know remember keep an eye out in the background over the next four weeks there could be a little treat in it for you catch you in the next one